Welcome back, baseball fans. This is the 69, 70, 71, 72 Carryover League. We are inside the 1969 box again. We're going to take a look at the American League North, see what is waiting in the wings for these teams. We looked at the American League East. We're moving on in the American League to the North. We have the two expansion teams. Well, not really. We have the Burlington Expos, Cleveland Indians, Detroit Tigers, and Ohio Players. So starting with the Expos, they, of course, will lose a lot of pitchers from the staff. They lose Bill Gullickson, Charlie Lee, Mike Armstrong, Rick Waits, and Dean Fuhr. So they three-fourths of their bullpen and two right-handed starting pitchers. They also lose, unfortunately, Gary Carter, Gary Reedus, and Willie Lozado. So when we look at um, the guys who are on them on the team already, Bill Stoneman, right? That's a pretty good year. Bobby Wine, Bob Bailey, and Adolfo Phillips. They're currently already on the Expos. So we have Ty Klein is a one-way, he's a two in center field. Uh, but they have Boots Day in center field. Um, and Adolfo Phillips needs to be replaced, and Gary Reedus, but they're both right-handed. So I don't know if Klein is really a good fit. Gary Wazalewski, um, and was he an Expo? Yes, he was an Expo with a 339 ERA. I think he'll make the team. Uh, remember, these guys are only on the team for one year with these cards now. This is the fourth time I've looked at this card. So Wazalewski will probably replace either Charlie Lee or Bill Gullickson in the rotation. Ron Brand at catcher. He's no Gary Carter, <laughs> but who is? Um, you know, uh, at least he's consistent on both sides. I don't like the fact that he doesn't have power and he's got a plus two arm. But at least he's a B hit runner. He's a 258 hitter, and they are an expansion team in 69, so all in all, you know, it's not bad. But the next guy, Steve Ranko, interestingly, Branko we know has many more uh, cards in the 1970s. This one has a 402 ERA. We may find Ranko will appear again in the future, and we might want to select him instead of this one. But then again, this is only a one-year contract anyway. As it stands now, the two pitchers, Wazalewski and Ranko, I would uh, give a higher grade to than Ron Brand and Ty Klein. And that's more important anyway, because they have to replace five pitchers, and they only have to replace three hitters. All right, the next team is the Indians. Cle the Clevetown Indians, they lost five hitters. They lost Julio Franco, Terry Francona, Tommy Herr. That's a middle infielder and a first baseman. Six of Lescano, a corner outfielder, and Jim Wolford. Wow, two, outfield two outfielders and three-fourths of an infield, plus Ed Whitson, Alejandro Pena, and Rod Scurry. So a lefty reliever, two right-handed starting pitchers. So there's a lot of needs here for Cleveland. Now, Mike Paul. Before I get the mic button, he's the only one. Um, just confirm these four guys. Yes, Veda Pinson, Larry Brown, third baseman, Ray Fossey, much better. See this Ray Fossey? See how bad that one is? Because the 1970 Fossey is, of course, on Cleveland, the one that got hurt in the All-Star game, but he's still better. And Hargan has a better year in 70. So the only guy available to the Indians is Mike Paul, and Mike Paul should make the team. Um... I don't like starter fives. I prefer a six or higher to make a rotation in the carrier league. But that's all right. I put him in the bullpen as your long man. Replacing Rod Scurry, because you already have Steve Mingori, who is your lefty closer. So I think Mike Paul, he's going to make that team. That's a good card. I'm surprised he's not in the league already. A 362 ERA. So Cleveland's going to have at least one guy, and then they'll have to go through free agency to find a second. All right, next up is the Tigers. We know they lose a lot from that 84 World Championship team. Oh, my goodness. They lose, well, Tom Brookings isn't much, but, and Rusty Kuntz and Krenchicki. They're not that much, but they lose Trammell and Whitaker. 
and Andre Thornton. And they lose Milt Wilcox and Willie Hernandez. So middle infield is really short right now. Um, and of course, Willie Hernandez is a big loss, even though they still have John Hiller. Um, so with the Tigers, I believe Dick McAuliffe would be would be available to replace um, the second baseman. Let's uh, make sure these guys. Yeah, Howie Reed's in the currently in the bullpen, as with Hiller and Joe Coleman, Freehan, and Al Kaline. All right, they're current Tigers. Pat Dobson, how about that? Um, you know, it's funny, he's a relief starter here. Um, that's a decent Pat Dobson card. Actually, he did pitch for Detroit. Um, he could replace Milt Wilcox, but Wilcox was a starter, and, we'll, and uh, this guy is not. Um, Dick McAuliffe, I think, oh yeah, I like this card. I like the two, I like the power and the walks out of a second baseman who can also hit lefties. This is the, this is the uh, 47 walks and 271 at bats. He's got another, McAuliffe has another card, I think in 70, where he walked 100 times. So the choice of Dick McAuliffe will be the new Tiger second baseman. It's a question of this year or another year for Dick McAuliffe. So then you have to weigh, well, um, whichever McAuliffe you pick, um, or whichever McAuliffe you don't pick, you want to have a couple guys you pick instead. So let me keep going here. Earl Wilson as a starter seven might make more sense. Oh yeah, 331 ERA. Might make more sense than Dobson. He struggles a little bit against lefties, but against righties, like at single one to seven and the homer one to four there. And uh, it would be, their rotation would be McLean, Lolich, Coleman, and Earl Wilson. And all four would go on a 200 inning rotation. So that's pretty good. And then you have Mickey Stanley. Don't really have the ideal spot for him. He, normally he can play first in the outfield. Here it's just center field. And they have uh, Willie Horton, they have Northrop, they have K-Line, Cash. Um, you could put Stanley in the outfield and move Horton to DH, taking Andre Thornton's spot. But again, you know, 235 and 592 at bats, you have to think you can do better. So from this vantage point, these two guys, McAuliffe and Wilson, make a lot of sense. All right, next up and last up for the division, the Ohio players had a surprisingly good year. Uh, getting knocked out in the round of 16 by Kansas City. Oh, they lose a lot of hitters, though. They lose Jesse Barfield, Mike Eastler, Chili Davis, Alfredo Griffin, Jerry Mumphrey, and Tony Pena. That's that's an outfield. That's a heck of a good outfield that's gone, plus a great catch hitting catcher and thrower in Tony Pena. They lose Joaquin Andahar, and they lose Ray Burris. So, wow, it's going to be a pretty wild off season for these cats. They lose a lot of good guys. There is a lot of good guys to choose from. They have Ike Brown, and they have Tom Hall, and Chuck Hinton, who's been to an all-star game, and Mudcat Grant, who's been to an all-star game, and Don Wilson, who's on the verge of an all-star game. So they do have a, a good core here. This Oscar Gamble? No. No way. Ron Willis... Um, I don't think so. It's all right. He's a righty gets righties out in the bullpen. Don Shaw, a lefty. Um, they have two lefties in the bullpen. They have Rudy May and Tom Hall. They could put Rudy May in the rotation and join Al Downing and just go with Tom Hall in the bullpen. And then um, Alan Foster, and not a good one either. This is not a good Alan Foster card. Gary Peters. He struggles. He goes on rotation, but he really struggles here. Here's a, a replacement for Tony Pena, J.C. Martin, but this is not very good, is it? No, it's a 209. And Jay Alu. Um, he has it's a 248 here. So I mean, there's wow, there's a lot of guys. None of them are really good here. 
I don't know, this could be a rough off season for the Ohio players because that 84 cast that you just saw in the summer league was pretty outstanding. So it might take a year or two before the Ohio players can play spoiler again. Right now it's looking like uh, Detroit uh, might be the, again the team to beat in this division. So that's it tonight from the America League North. We'll see you again next time.